These three individuals acted selfishly. They did not care whether my dad lived or died. They do not care how their actions have impacted our family. An emotional day in a Kona courtroom as a judge hands down the sentences for the three people involved in the brutal beating of a hotel security guard. For attempted murder, Natisha Tal Talatasi and Wesley Samoa got life terms with a chance of parole. Lama Laoval got 10 years for assault. All three asked for, for forgiveness, but the victim's family said they are not ready. Our Ashley Nagaoka joins us now with more. Ash. The daughter of the victim, John Kanui, says the beating left her father a quadriplegic with a brain injury. The family says they're pleased each defendant received the maximum sentence, and while they hope to forgive them, they say today is not the day. When he lay lifeless on the cold pavement, the punches and kicks continued. It sickens me to think about it, even today. Yes, my dad is alive, and I'm grateful, but his life will never be the same. Family members of John Kanui described the struggles, pain, and constant care the former Kona Seaside Hotel security guard now endures after he was brutally attacked while on the job last September. We are devastated, heartbroken, and angry that John's quality of life was robbed from him <coughs> and us. When it was their turn to speak, Natisha Tautalatasi, Wesley Samoa, and Lama Laovau each apologized to Kanui's loved ones. I take full responsibility, and uh, my heart goes out to the family, especially Mr. Kanui. To the family, I'm very sorry, and I accept my, um, I take full responsibility for my actions. I'm um, sorry for the pain and hurt. So I'm not saying that I'm innocent because I'm guilty of something, but it's not attempted murder. Samoa's mother dropped to her knees, begging the judge to give her son, who is a father of six, a lighter sentence. Have mercy. Have mercy. I don't want to see my son in life in prison. Tao Talatasi also asked for leniency for her fiancé and his cousin. She claims they believed Kanui was attacking her. They didn't understand what was happening. What they saw was that the female party of it was, was and being the, another half getting attacked, didn't get the real story of it, what was really going on. None of us really remember what's going on. Today, all three of you can still walk on your own. All three of you can still eat on your own. And all three of you can still teach your children and talk to them. Mr. Kinoy cannot do any of these things on his own because of your actions on September 17, 2018. Now, the life sentences for Tal Talatasi and Samoa were mandatory because of the attempted murder convictions. Lao Vao was eligible for probation, but the judge still gave him the 10 years. Ashley Nagaoka, Hawaii News Now.